So serving up to you for your consideration today is Gloom Keep, which was E1 M5 in Quake, and I have christened it DMC E1 M5. Is well, it's not finished actually. It's almost finished. Um, it's pretty much entirely playable, but there's a few interesting things about it, both aesthetically and you know gameplay wise. That giveaway that you know. Whenever this uh, three-way mod for DMC or Deathmatch Classic was dropped, this one wasn't quite finished. Uh, the original Gloom Keep was designed by Tim Willits and is actually one of my favorite single-player maps in that game. Uh, I always really like it when you get to that part in the campaign, as well as I think it's a—it's actually a pretty rock-solid Deathmatch map. You know, it's my, much how I feel about E1M1, the Sipgate Complex. Uh, maybe this one's a little bit better. I feel it's a little bit more actual, like, non-linear, so it works more as an actual arena. Though, obviously, there's a f one or two things that kind of, you know, prevent it from being, like, top-tier deathmatch class, or deathmatch for, I guess, most people. But then again, my opinion's pointless, so who gives a shit? Let's just talk about the fucking map. Yeah, so right away, you're gonna notice, uh, it's Fulbright. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that the lights were actually placed in the map, but whenever, um... Oh yeah, and this is uh, too. I actually just forgot. There's another sign. This isn't finished. Two of the spawns in this map uh, just are you're too you're stuck in the ground. I can't move right now. See how I'm slightly too small? I'm literally in the ground. So hold on. I have to commit Sudoku. And let's see. Am I going to be in one of the ones that don't put you in the ground? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that they were testing something. Like this map was in the middle of just getting finished up. And remember, every time you you take a map or RMV file from Hammer, ha 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 ha, and uh, put it into um, the Gold Source engine, you have to go through the process of converting from that map format into the BSP format. And the thing is, you have to go through multiple programs to do that. And on a computer back in 2000, remember, com computers in 2000 were definitely not nearly as strong as computers are now. So it might take you literal seconds to export a map in like your maybe even a minute because that's all I remember it taking when I did that E1M1 conversion for Team Fortress Classic. It took about a minute on my Intel i7 at the time, uh, like you know fourth generation. Um, it would probably take like I remember it probably take closer to like a few like a dozen minutes if the map was sufficiently advanced enough. I'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, it, you know there's probably a reason why it's full bright. What they did is that. They wanted to test something, so they just ran the like you know the basics of the map geometry and stuff like that. And to save render time, they didn't have it render out the light through like the viz or light file. I can't remember exactly what the program was called. And then this got dropped, and that's why the version of the map that was in there at the time didn't have its lighting. I like to assume I haven't decompiled the map because decompiling uh, you know BSP files is a bitch. That that would give you definitive proof because if the entities are there for lighting, all you'd have to do is re the Take that deconverted file, then re-put it back into a BSP with the lighting on. I know, fixing the 20,000 errors that would show up because, you know, again, decompiling, you know, like these fucking gold source map files is such a pain in the ass. Anyway, so yeah, we're at the start of the map if you were playing single player, so let's talk about this. Um, oh, and but before you think that any of the jankiness is only here because I'm playing it in Deathmatch Classic and not in 3-Wave Capture the Flag, it's just as jank there. There's not even flags there. In the three-way version, so this is definitely not finished. Or I like I, I I tried. I could not find a single flag there. So obviously they like this got dropped. Like you know, I almost wonder too because it got dropped without a flag, but it's a hundred percent perfect, like almost playable. If they intended to have like these maps playable in both the three-way, like you know, capture the flag mode and just regular deathmatch, makes you wonder. Anyway, let's talk about it. So if you jump into the river here. Or I guess it's not really a river, it's like a moat or lake or whatever. Come up here and grab a mega health and some armor because that's always good. I am well aware that none of the pickups in either this or the uh, Slipgate Complex have like basically sounds when you pick them up. I don't know why. I think that might be a map error, but I'm not too sure. If you come back this way, obviously there's some health if you need it. Grab the shotgun shells if you need it. We'll talk about the main entrance way here because we're going to go the back way. Uh, you know, get some more ammo here. And then you'll come to this area, which I, I always was really fond of. It doesn't have quite the same atmosphere without the lighting. If you can make this jump, you can grab some armor. Good stuff. Um, yeah, did I mention that, you know, the spawn points are fucked? Man. I almost want to make an album cover out of this. I know, I'm weird. This is why no one talks to me in real life. So, yeah, anyway. Um, now that that's gone on, uh, you can come this way. 
and you can get in here. This is where like a infamous little shamble area. They're, this is a switch originally, but now it's just activated at all times. Or maybe they hadn't finished it, like actually rigging it. You grab some shotgun shells, some ant like some health. That's some good stuff. Not much point to come to this into this room unless you got teleported here from one of the teleporters or you spawn there. Um, let's go back this way real quick, and I just want to show you. This leads into the, like the main kind of area, but we'll we'll talk about that more when we actually get there. So if you come back into the uh, entrance way here, you have one of the original traps. Uh, these little it's it's become like lightning things. They're like little roof nail shooters, I think, in the original. It's been too long. Uh, they made them lightning here, so that's cool. Um, I don't know what the hell this is. Um, this isn't a turret gut or anything. It doesn't actually do anything. I've tried. I, I did actually try using it, like, you know, with the, the non-existent use key. No, it doesn't do anything, so this must be some sort of, like, development thing. Because it moves around occasionally and points at things. And it, it kind of scares me, and I don't like it. it. Makes me feel like the world's about to collapse, so we're not going to talk about that. If you come down here, you can grab some health. You grab the, uh, some nail armor, like, like or nail or ammo, same thing. Elevator's already activated, you don't have to act- See, it just moved. It's looking more down! It's looking more down, I swear! It's, it's fucking terrifying. I, I hate it. If you fall down here, you can actually get back up. Now, the funny thing is, they bothered to, like, you know, like, update this with, like, you know, Half-Life textures and all that. I have a sneaking suspicion, like I said in the, the Slipgate Complex, they just took the original map file and, like, actually just brought it into, like, the like, Gold Source engine. Like, they had permission from it to do that. Because it's weird that this teleporter is here, but then, you know... Unless they had a purpose for, like, you know, a new gameplay purpose for it and planned out. It's, it, like, they usually remove these in, like, the other, like, Deathmatch from Classic maps, so it's weird. Um, but if you know your quick map enough, you know this isn't a dead end, because you can go this way. Grab the armor here and get teleported back out. And now it's up! It's up! It's moving! It's like a bug. It's like it... Fuck. Um, anyway, so grab the rocket launcher. And adding into um, the traps, this one is here. This works as you expect. It's not an insta kill. Then again, I don't think it ever was an insta kill. The Quake version, I can't remember. Um, but here you go. This is more like proof that this wasn't quite finished because these are supposed to be like nail launchers, but as you can see, they're not actually doing anything. Um, so you know that sucks. Uh, these work though. These little pusher things I've always really hated. I always hated this room in, like, like traditional quakes because there are a bunch of fiends here jumping at you. You can come down here and there's this non-existent nail launcher. Normally this would launch you to you if you try to use this teleporter to get back up. Or you could go this way, take the elevator, and, you know, just not even have to worry about this at all. So if you come this way now, um, you're going to get the double barrel shotgun. Always a fun time guaranteed. And you can come back down here. I mean, you can always get back up this way if you so choose. You know, it's a very personal decision. I can't tell you that. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, so let's go this way now. And here's the other... Um, yeah, just swimming in air. I know that feel. Here's the other de the teleporter that, or spawn that doesn't work. And the stupid thing is, I don't telefragging doesn't seem to work because you'll just get stuck next to them. I don't know why. It's really odd. Uh, the secret's kind of broken because in the original Quake, you jump at this and it opens this door here. But now you have to shoot it. I don't know if that was a stylistic choice. Also, this switch doesn't work. This door just opens randomly. Uh, so go in there and grab the, um, or opens back up, like, you know, randomly if you're in there. Grab the health if you don't have it. Grab the armor, the health, or the, the, the grab the items, whatever's here on display. Uh, not much to say here. Now, this is another broken point, because what was supposed to happen here is if you go through that teleporter, that brings you back here. That's how you get to this room from the teleporter brought up. Now, if you know your quake well enough, you'll know that if you were to go behind, like, you know, go go around that teleporter to the backside, it would teleport you here. There's this teleporter here, and you can grab a bunch of stuff and the quad damage. That's how you, you can get up here without the rocket. However, it doesn't quite work. As you can see, this teleporter doesn't work actually at all. You just go into hell, basically. Or, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's terrifying. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it! It messes with me. It messes with me like that freaking weird ass, like, you know, machine gun turret of death. Go go away. God. Um. So, if you do try to do it the proper way, this is what happens. It just it glitches out. It has, it like, puts your viewpoint weird. And then you try again. And you keep trying and it just does that. So, yeah, that sucks. 
So yeah, more pro again, definitive proof this wasn't quite done. But yeah, as just a straight deathmatch map, even with all that being said, uh, it works. You could play this with someone and it, you'd have fun. I mean, because, you know, you could have fun in the original Quake map too. And like Gloom Keep here, but you know, if you absolutely need to play it in Deathmatch Classic here for some reason, here it is. Uh, the one big difference, though, I forget about this. The fire actually hurts you in Deathmatch Classic here. It was just a static prop in original Quake, but yeah, now it's been upgraded. So yeah, uh, Gloom Keep. Not so gloomy these days. I mean, I, I didn't really think about it, but yeah, I guess it does kind of suck if you happen to spawn on one of the, like, you know, two spawn points that don't work properly, because you have to basically kill yourself by console command. And that's no fun, because you get penalized for that. Ooh, twice in a row Mario got put there. Oh, poor guy. You know, I never quite ever got the timing down 100%. So I brought... Damn it! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Well, I, I sort of can move. You can see that very vaguely, can't you? Eh. Ah, uh, it's always a good time to bully those that can't fight back properly. What are you doing there, Sonic? Don't even look like you wanted to be here. It looks like you just wanted to have a good time in this room. This is adorable. I guess this spawn point doesn't work correctly, too, because it looks like he's in the ground, but I've never spawned here. Hmm. You know, it's funny, because I actually haven't found a ranger, like, model for, like, you know, someone, like, you know, the ranger as in the Quake playable character, if you didn't know. No one seems to have made a Quake ranger model for, like, um, Half-Life here, which is weird, because, you know, I don't think it would be that... I was gonna say it wouldn't be that much harder, but then I remember the model format in, like, Quake, especially the animation system, is pretty much 100% different, so never mind. Because, you know, Quake used, like, you know, Vertice, Vertice anime. I don't even know what the hell Quake used. It, it sure as shit wasn't the skeletal system they used in Half-Life, I can tell you that. Which is funny, because I remember John Romero, I mean, not John Romero, John Carmack, when he was making Quake 2, downplayed skeletal animation as a neat little compression technique, and that's it. Huh, if only he knew. What were you looking at, Link? It's just a, it actually is kind of a nice skybox. I know this isn't the only map that's used it, because I've seen- I think it was, uh, E1M2 used it as well. But yeah, damn, for such- like, you know, being low res, it does give off a nice atmosphere. I mean, I can see the seams there, so, you know, that's kind of gack, but, you know, that's kind of because the game's old. What the fuck am I?